Over the years, we've told you about the dangers of parasailing. Well, there's been another accident. While two teenage girls were parasailing together in Florida, only one of the girls survived. Now she and her mother are speaking out to try to help make the sport safer. This pretty 17-year-old is grieving the loss of her best friend, her little sister. She was great, and I'm going to miss her more than anything in the world. Crystal and Amber White were parasailing while on vacation in Pompano Beach, Florida last month. But the fun turned tragic when the parasail rope snapped, sending the teenage girls flying. In this Today Show animation, you can see the horrific path they took, crashing into a rooftop and then dragged through a cluster of trees. Amber died the next day from severe head trauma, a week before her 16th birthday. The large scar on Crystal's face is still visible. My daughter died needlessly. Crystal lost her sister. I lost my daughter. The girl's mother, Shannon Krause, is suing both the resort where the girls stayed and the parasailing company, saying the weather was too dangerous to take her daughters up and the equipment was faulty. These pictures were taken just moments before the parasail rope snapped. They put my children up in the air with a bad rope. For years, Inside Edition has been investigating parasailing and has found an unregulated industry where many operators fly tourists too close to buildings in bad weather and at unsafe heights. It's too windy now. You shouldn't even be doing it now, should you? Huh? You need money. You need money? Yeah. It's all about making a buck off of a tourist. The family's attorney, John Layton, says this is the latest tragedy in an industry where there is no oversight. This should never have happened. There was a, an accumulation of mistakes and bad judgment on the part of the operators and the people who set this up. Okay. For Shannon and Crystal, the pain is still unbearable. My daughter is dead now, and I have to live with that for the rest of my life. A lawyer for the parasailing company said the captain was operating the boat in accordance with industry guidelines and says they took appropriate measures to bring the girls in when a 40-mile-an-hour wind hit unexpectedly. Now you